Right. Oh, okay, we can do a quick, I guess, intro. Okay, well, it's Alex and Ethan back here at Gold's. It's What's been up? a long time. Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Closing my eyes. Are they close? I'm okay. actually really excited. Close. I have no idea. Hold on. Holding. Hold on. Hold. All right, ready? One, two, okay. three, open. Oh, what? Isn't that dope? That is so sick. What is up, everybody? Uh, it is, one, it's, it's hot shit. Uh, in LA right now, it's been like most humid it's ever been since I've lived here, which is like three years now. But I was gonna say, it's July 10th, middle of summer, super hot, super humid, super gross. But regardless, we're gonna go work out tonight. Except this time, we're gonna go with one of my homies. Her name's Alex Draknik. If you guys have been a subscriber to the channel for a while, you know who she is. She's competing here soon. I don't know the exact date, but I'll be sure to clue you guys in on that, or I'll let her do it when we meet up tonight. We're working out at about 8 p.m. It is 7.46 right now. So I've got to get my pre-workout meal in. Gotta let that digest. Figured I might as well show you guys what I drink for pre-workout. Maybe show you what's currently in my gym bag, some new stuff. Then we'll head down to Gold's, crush an 8 p.m. lift, which is honestly like the longest time, or excuse me, not the longest time, the latest I've worked out in like, since I can remember. Usually not a person to go super late, but tonight it's the only time she can make it, so we're gonna make it happen. She's like, yeah, I gotta come from Hollywood. It'll probably take me an hour and a half. So that's what happens when you live in LA. Really shitty traffic. I don't gotta deal with that though because I live like fucking eight minutes to work. So it's great. Anyways, pre-workout meal. Something you guys probably haven't heard of. You might have seen me talk about it on my Instagram if you follow me there, which you should. But I heard about it from this guy named John Meadows, Mountain Dog, OG in the bodybuilding industry. And it's not your typical oatmeal. It's not toast. It's similar to oatmeal, but it's not. It's low glycemic, which means it's like not gonna spike your insulin. It's low on the glycemic index. And if you spike your insulin by eating like a sugar, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a huge surge of like energy and then it's gonna crash. You're gonna feel like shit, like a cookie, a brownie, sugar, or whatever. So this is low glycemic and it is cream of rice, baby. So you know what sucks? I just realized that my camera's about to die and my battery's in my car. So I gotta go downstairs and get the battery. So I guess I'll be right back. That was annoying. Okay, so cream of rice, as I was saying, freaking delicious, you guys. Trust me, it sounds gross. Like rice, cream, what? It doesn't make sense. It makes sense. It's just pretty much pulverized rice that's just ground up super fine. And it tastes kind of, not oatmeal-y sweet, but it's kind of just a plain feeling, plain feeling, plain taste that you can mix anything in. I don't think anything pisses me off more than when I spill shit in the microwave. God dang it. This is what happens when I walk away for 30 seconds to get something in my room. Fuck. All right, we're gonna look past this, we're gonna take the L, and we're gonna figure this out. So this is one serving of cream of rice, it's about 45 grams, hence it's on the scale. And the two things I mix it with, raw almond butter. I choose raw because roasted nuts lack a lot of the nutritional value when you roast them. So I prefer to get it raw, got this at Trader Joe's and then a little bit of organic raspberry fruit spread, which is basically just jelly. I'm talking about like a tiny bit, like that much of, it, of each of these. It's literally like PB&J cream of rice with some blueberries and salt. It's so freaking good, trust me, it tastes exactly like a PB&J. You can't even taste like the cream of rice aspect, which really has no flavor to begin with, but what else do I got here? Filled up two packets of BSN Pumped Edge into here. I'll probably drink this on the way to the gym. I need to remember to shake that up. And then I have two capsules of creatine alkaline, Creolk. This is the best type of creatine. Don't at me. If you want me to explain, I will, but get it. It's pH stable. You're not loading. You're not gonna get water bloat. It's proven, it's patented. Just get it. And then for after the workout. Whey protein vanilla from my supplement store, nutritional warehouse, glutamine. One scoop of this goes in here after the workout. Put it in the shaker cup. All right, I'm freaking hungry. I barely had any carbs today. So I'm about to match down on this and I will talk to you guys. All right, I already crushed that in literally like 2.5 seconds because like I said, I was hungry. But I forgot I told you I'd show you what the hell's in my gym bag. So I did a video like this a while ago, but honestly it sucked and like that was just the early YouTube days. I still honestly suck at YouTube, but you should still subscribe because I think I'm cool and 
we're gaining weight. And who doesn't like to watch some dude fucking gain weight and lift hell heavyweight and compete in December? Whatever. Here we go. That's the shirt I'm wearing today. Gold's Gym, Gym Shark collaboration. I got a brand new belt from Simeon Panda, and it's the dopest belt I've ever owned. Just lift, all black. Damn, I need to like shut these. Hold on. Is that better? Uh, whatever, it'll do. Okay, just lift belt. It's so sick. You'll see me with it on today, but it's just really good quality leather. It's got like a black buckle piece. Great like support right here. It's just overall great quality, very well made, not very expensive. I've kind of become homies with him at the gym. Like just started shooting the shit with him. You'd be surprised how many people you meet at Gold's Gym. I Probably he'll be there tonight. He's usually there in the morning, or excuse me, in the evening, and I go in the morning now, so I haven't seen him in a while. So I'm stoked to show him the belt. But he's a homie, we started hanging out and shooting the shit and spotting each other on a few things and just became friends and we're planning to live together. I'm like, dude, I wanna lift, like, we gotta vlog it. And he's like, dude, whenever you're ready, man. I was like, fuck, all right, cool, Let, let's do it. And I just haven't done it, so I'll do it. <laughs> Anyways, towel is next because Gold's Gym, as much as I love it, it's not the cleanest place. They do clean it daily, but still, there's so many people going in and out of there that you just want that to lay down. Wrist wraps, Harbinger, I've had these forever, but these are the best kind. You always wanna get the one with the thicker Velcro strap because some of them, they, they'll come when like the, the Velcro piece is probably like this big, and that just doesn't work because it can come undone and it's just not as grippy, right? That's an extra memory card, which I might need today. In here, in this handy dandy bag, are my Ray-Ban knee sleeves. They're turned inside out, but these are those blue knee sleeves you see everywhere online. Um, I just keep them in there just so they, if I'm sweaty, I finish a leg workout or I need to take them off and I want to put them back in my bag, I put them in there. So the sweaty shit, doesn't touch everything else. What else? Uh, that's really what's in there right now. I've got a chalk ball in here, which I use every freaking workout. And then usually in here, I'll put my wallet, my keys. I'll have headphones, got my AirPods, got a bunch of other shit. Nothing exciting, but kind of just wanted to show you guys the belt before I sort of throw it on today and get after it. I'm excited to lift with her. She's prepping right now, so I can't wait to see how lean she is. Uh, also, I'm gonna gift her something. This is the cool part. I'm gonna tell, I told her, I was like, yo, I got a gift for you. She's like, what? So stay tuned later in the video. Also might be doing a giveaway for that. Got two of them to give away. So keep watching. You could have a chance to win one. Um, it's really cool. I think she'll like hers. But all right, I'll see you guys at Gold's Gym. Peace. Listen to this. It's this new Mac Miller song I found it's called Programs. It's pretty lit. Endo Rush, baby. I don't even know if you can hear me. I'm an idiot. Oh. Where the freak is Alex? She said 8 p.m. sharp. It's 8.01. Not sure. I'm mad at her. I'm just kidding. I'm not mad. I ain't mad, yo. I ain't mad. But I do want to get in there before it gets dark. I can't believe I'm drinking pre-workout at 8 p.m. This is freaking ridiculous. I think I'll save it. No, I'm gonna drink it now. I'll just start tweaking out as we're like talking in the car. Who's this shredded mother? <laughs> I just ate dinner too. You massive Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, this is me now. I know it's been a while. What do you mean? You said yesterday was the first day you went to the gym. No, I meant the first day. Yesterday was the first day I went to the gym and was like, wow, I fucking hate my life right now. Like, why did <laughs> oh, I do first, bodybuilding? Where, where, where you were like, okay. Is I'm, this I worth like it? I feel like shit. Oh, I felt like shit yesterday. Yeah. So, you're lovely. seven and a half weeks out. I told yes. the people, I was like, Alex is going to have to just describe what her deal uh, is right okay. now. Okay, my deal. Okay. So, I am seven and a half weeks out <laughs> from North Americans national show. I think like a few weeks ago I was very concerned that I wasn't going to be ready at all. I was in that like, oh god, am I going to be ready? Those. See, when you start to lose weight, you get used to it so you don't think you're that little anymore even though yeah. you were like tiny. And then you'll look in the mirror and be like, this isn't small enough. Like today I was like, nope. And then you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, Why you're do shredded you look right like now. This? <laughs> yeah. So, where's the show again? Pittsburgh. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Is this an, a national qualifier? No, it is a national show. It's a national show. So if I if I by some goddamn chance get first or second, I go pro. Whoa, dude! Are you gonna throw IFBB after your? Instagram oh name? my god, no! I'm Drachnik <laughs> forever. I will yeah, never. Yeah, I yeah. can't. If I if if I change it, someone's gonna steal my last name. Uh, my brother will steal my last name. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Wait, we're what? gonna switch cameras. So this is the camera. <laughs> So th your camera is cute and all, hey. but then there's this. You're a baby. professional video person. Yeah. That road mic is fucking. Oh, oh my god! 
but it's because this is whatever. I told my fans, my followers, <laughs> my fans. and you yesterday, the other day, I texted, I was like, I got a gift for you. Close your eyes. Oh, okay. BSN, by the way, I'm drinking some. Okay. Oh, what? Isn't that dope? Oh my god, yeah. this is so sick. So the story goes, these Kay. things are called hit bottles. What the frick, this is sick. I'll give you the rundown. This guy that started this company saw me and Jake Casson, my founder for our company, Movement, our story, Movement. and he noticed I had some water bottle, like a shaker cup or something, and he DM'd me. He's like, yo, dude, like, I started this company, similar to you guys on Kickstarter. Would love to send you some bottles if you want. I was like, dude, hell yeah, these things look awesome. So he sends them, and I was like, dude, these are amazing. I want to, like, so cool. gift them or do a giveaway or something. I was like, well, I got to yeah. give one to her. They have, like, different adaptable pieces, so take that off. So this part right here unscrews. So this is the shaker cup one, but yeah. it also comes with this. This is for infusing your tea. Or, no freaking or like, way. Or, like, you could put, like, a lemon in here or, like, just, lime you know and it screws in there bougie little but they also make a tumbler lid so it's like <laughs> it's like a clear top with a straw they didn't send me that but that'd be sick as fuck this is so cool i was just in my house being like where the fuck did all my shaker cups go so yeah they're oh super God, cool thank you yeah, this you're is welcome. so nice here I'll, I'll read you guys the specs oh, they have other epa colors? free leak proof vacuum insulated round bottom <gasps> to prevent bacteria whatever that means New redesigned colors, keeps things hot for six hours, cold nice. for ten hours. Cool, I get hot coffee, cold And they're coffee. just, they're fucking sick looking. Dope. They got like this like little thing. I love it. Yeah, so I've got another black one. I wanted to do a giveaway. What color is that? This one's dark, like navy green, or like army green. I like the black. You know, black, Can you I steal black. the black? Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, take the I black. I like wearing all black. I want to give away. Yeah. Follow me, mine right here. Follow Hip Bottle. Hit Bottle. And then, Wait. I think you should probably have them go to the most recent Hit Bottle pick on Instagram, which we'll probably have to put it here. And then just comment like, at Ethan Frame underscore sent me here. Yeah. Yeah, do that, do that. Thanks, dude. Thanks, dude, his These name's Christian. Sick. Christian, thanks, Christian. Totally, this is sick, dude, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Love it, I actually, I really needed a new bottle. So we're gonna give away a green one and a gold one. Yeah. Do what I say. Do what he says. I'll just check the photo and then <laughs> I'll pick a random person in a couple days. Sweet. Sick. I it's wanna go work out, I gotta pee. Sir. Okay, let's go work out. I've got Iggy Azalea blasting in my ear. <laughs> She's like, get it, get it, get it. I'm like, I will get it, get it, get it. <laughs> Fucking, you get me on film like eating shit backwards. Like, <laughs> Ethan does not know how to use my camera. We just had an entire good conversation that is now gone into the midst of. Well, we were talking about how boys wear these socks, and I don't, I don't, I don't know. All right, like when you wear shoes that you want to show your ankles, and it looks so tacky if there's a sock that like comes up to right here. I just have black socks. Yeah, but it's just different. Like, it's just different. If you're trendy and you're cool, you wear no-show socks, and if you're even cooler, you get them from feet. Shout out Taylor, shout out Parker. God, how many brands do you rep? <laughs> this is all for free, I don't even get paid for it. Okay, we are doing the JM Press, and then we are doing Inverted Rose. Let me show you what we're doing. Am I doing it right? So, yeah, but you need to you keep them in. Keep your elbows right. in. Yeah. Do you feel that? It feels weird, right? I can't really hear you. Cool. Just like most guys, they always ignore me. I'm gonna do like 30. Oh, you think you're cool? <laughs> this kind of hurts my elbows. <laughs> now he knows what it's like to be a girl. And I'm also too wide to fit in there. That's and too nice. tall. <laughs> I just keep hearing excuses. Look at those fucking socks. <laughs> Check that out, yo. Oh. Strong and flexible. Ladies, you heard it first here. Strong and so, flexible. So, I didn't hear one word you were saying. That I know you did, time. and I was making fun of you. Alright, I'm really 
excited because my roof. So, the anyways, oh, how was that okay. set, guys? I did pretty good, huh? What? Drake is in my ear right now. <laughs> what song is it? Uh, uh I don't know. <laughs> Chevy drop. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm leaving one earbud out so I can fucking hear you this time. Damn it. I made so fun of him PG last channel. time. I definitely do not have a PG channel. I've been cursing on mine. I say the F word. Oh, what are we putting on? You gotta help him out. Guess how much I weigh? I don't know. I'm really bad at two, two ninety nine. Don't. <laughs> I wish. Actually, no, I uh, two thirty. About two twenty seven. Ooh. I've been, like, I've been like kind of around this way for a while, but I feel like I'm bigger. And a little bit later. Wait, you weigh you weigh two thirty seven? No, two twenty seven. Oh my god! I'm a big human. I don't realize it though. To me, I'm just the skinny Ethan that it used to be. What's up, dog? Fucking nasty. <laughs> He's looking nasty. Look at that. It's disgusting, honestly. December 8th is the day. December 8th? Yeah. Oh, shit. You're getting more than ready. He's ready for bikini bodybuilding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did we run into you guys last time we were filming an episode together? I don't know. I think we did. I think that we was did. the first time I ever met you. Or you. Looked yeah, I was. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Guys, this is Brian and Lindsay. You want to plug your so channels? Fun. So, Brian Pickowitz. <laughs> Lindsay Rago. Both on YouTube. Is this yeah, your both channel? on Instagram. Your channel? My channel. We're going to share our channels. We're going to share the content. Oh, oh that's the best. Yeah. It's really mine. Trademark. You can't use it. I'm that's just you. kidding. I like being a bro. I feel like such a bro. Sup, girl? How's it going? <laughs> Can I get your number? Yeah, these are fucking tens. You look this, like. What are they, 15? This is. <laughs> these are fucking 15s, bro. What if I like white this out and like put like 50 on here? Or like... just drew a zero, 150. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need to sit like sideways. I don't yeah, even figure know. Figure it out. Can you my little biceps? People always ask me, oh my god, how many abs, ab workouts do you do to get that? I go, I do one ab exercise, like that's it. <laughs> it's literally what you eat, like seriously. <laughs> or don't. Or don't eat. 1,500 calories, right that's here. Exactly. I'm double, more than double. Yeah, how much are you eating? Like 4,000. <laughs> I'm only at like 2,200 today. I gotta go home and shove 18,000. 18,000? 8, 18, 1,800 calories on my 18,000 calories. 1,800. Amazing. 18 dummy. I did like three before she turned it on, I swear. Can it see me? Yeah, it's actually perfect. It's perfect, because I'm perfect. We're wrapping it up. Yeah. She has to go to cardio. I've only had about 
2,200 calories today out of the 4,000 I need. So. Yeah, we have to do opposite things. You have to go eat more and I have to go do cardio because I am done eating for the day. Yeah, and I'm not. I have, it's 10 p.m. and yeah. I have to go shove in 1,800 calories. <laughs> See, they're getting bigger. You're killing it, dude. Do I look bigger than last time? You do. Yeah. Yeah, you do. Fuck yeah. I'm shooting to be like, probably starting prep, hopefully at like 2.35. Prep starts August 17th. Culver City Show, Excalibur, which means it's a sword. It's been really reassuring. I've been getting lots of people in there saying like, dude, you look fucking great. Like yeah. you have structure, you have this. Like like the guy we met at the end is Ratava, whatever on Instagram, he's the man. Uh, he, he was like, dude, the funniest thing, he's like, when's your show? And I was like, December 8th. He's like, I'm, I'm gonna be there, but also you make sure whoever drives you to the show, whoever drives you on the way back, they're sitting in the back seat. Why? Because front seat, your trophy's going there. And I'm like, dog, oh! you're the man. And I was like, I was like, you're the fucking man. Like that fired me up. I was like having a like shitty day. I was like, I gotta go work out. Like, and I get in there. He's the first person I see, and he's like, I was like, what's up? How you doing, man? And he's like, good, dude. Like, after this perfect specimen walks in, I'm like, dude, you're fucking milking it like oh so God. hard right now. It's like it was the best thing ever. And you saw him, like he was in there. He straight up told Alex. She was or like, no, yeah. I was, she like, was like this uh, October, uh, August. August 29th, and he goes, what did he say? He's, he's like, you're ready today. I've been getting that a lot though. I tell people, I'm like, oh, like I still have to lose 10 pounds. And people go, where? <laughs> All right, well. My arm's like the size of your head. Oh, I know. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> well, this was awesome. I honestly think I'm honestly more sweaty just because it's humid out. But it's honestly better though when you start like a lift like that and you I get used. I was sweating after the first set. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. All right. Killing it. Subscribe so, to both channels. Yeah, do it or I'll kill you. Bye guys. Later. Peace.